Hello friends. Welcome to a Minnesota spring. So I'm out here in my backyard enjoying the wilderness of birds making noises and the weather getting warmer and rain drizzling down just as you might expect. So why am I out here? Well I am going to show you a little home handicraft project. I have to first explain why I'm doing this and what, what interests me about this particular project. So let's take a look back here. All right, so here's why I'm out here. So you can see the snow is melting finally. This place was under about, oh, a meter, meter and a half of snow for much of the winter. And uh, what I'm kind of interested in is where all the creepy crawlies went. How do they survive a winter? I want to know. And what you're looking at here is some uh, really barren trees, shrubbery. And there's a little bit of leaf litter here. And there's some dead grass over there. So where are the bugs? Well, they're going to have burrowed down into the dirt and into the leaf litter over the course of the winter. And so what I want to do is take a look and see where they are right now. So I'm going to take a sample of this leaf litter and then I'm going to throw it in the device I'm going to build right now. And you'll see it's easy. Even I can build this thing. So let's go take a look at the beginnings of our Burleys filter. Okay friends, here's the cheap ingredients for this Burleys funnel. So this is a funnel. It's actually called a tractor funnel. So they're easy to find out here in the rural Midwest. And basically what it's for is, so if a farmer's tractor needs to be gassed up in the middle of the field, he can pull out this funnel and a big can of gas, just pour it in there and refuel on the fly. So it's a simple gadget. This thing costs about five bucks. Now, it might be better if I were using a metal funnel, which I'll show you why in a moment. But I'm just doing a quick and dirty test here. So this was cheap and easy. That's why I got this little beauty. Now, one problem with this is because it's used for fueling tractors. If you look down there, you see there's a little brass or some kind of metal uh, sieve across there. And that's to keep the filth out of the gas tank. And we're going to have to knock that out. That's what the screwdriver's for. So I'm going to do that right now. Just rip out that little that little filter down there. Okay. Mission accomplished. You can see that now it's a clear path down through that funnel to the exit. So what we're going to do is load this thing up with leaf litter or soil or whatever. And the little insects and little spiders and all that kind of cool stuff will go scurrying out down the bottom into that funnel hole and then we can capture them. But there's another piece we need here first. Okay, so one of the things I want to do is put in here some kind of thing to, that's loosely open so bugs can crawl through it, but also will hold out any dirt and leaf litter from falling in. That's the whole point of this exercise is we want to separate the insects and the spiders from the leaf litter. So I have a couple of ideas along those lines. One plan was, I have this thing. I have a bunch of these things actually. This is called egg crate material. It's just plastic with large openings in it. Um, and the idea was I would cut a circular chunk out of this and then hot glue it into the funnel. So it'd be kind of a support in there. And then also I'd be able to modulate the, the hole size because of this thing. These are also fun. This is, this is for um, embroidery or something like that. I have never used it for its intended purpose. But it's just this simple plastic stuff that you can get at craft stores. And has all kinds of these, this little mesh weave. And you can cut it to any shape you want. It's flexible. So the idea was make a circular thing here, cut out a circular bit of this material, and then I can lay this on top. I got a nice, nice little porous mesh 
that the insects can flee through. But then you see, here's, here's one of the uh, virtues of marrying well. My wife looked at my plan and said, that's way too elaborate. And so she said, why don't you just use this? You may be familiar with these. This, this is for a steamer. Uh, this one is cheap. You can pick it up at your local grocery store. This was about six bucks. And uh, it's just a little container you can put in a pot. You can steam vegetables and all that kind of stuff. But look at there, it's got nice little holes in it. And this one is getting a little rusty, so my wife said I should get rid of it anyway. But here's what we can do. And it just fits right there into my into my funnel perfectly. And then we'll just pile dirt on top of that, leaf litter, that kind of stuff. And that's the beginning. That's that's really easy. I tell you, my wife is, is brilliant. She comes up with these simple, I would have spent an hour just carving this plastic thing up to fit in here. And then she tells me we've got something in the kitchen that does it perfectly. So yeah, pretty good. Okay, so that's that job is already done. We've got our funnel, we got the filter in there. Then what we need is something that will force the insects to leave the leaf litter and crawl down through those holes and drop through the funnel. And that is also easy. Here. This is, this is called a clamp light. They're, you'll see this one's kind of banged up. It's, they're really easy to obtain. If you go on Amazon, you can find this small one. This is an eight and a half inch diameter clamp light. Uh, they're about five bucks too. So really cheap. So you can see what we're gonna do. We put this clamp light on top of here with some leaf litter in there. And we turn it on and the heat from that light bulb, that's a cheap 40 watt incandescent light bulb, will heat up the leaf litter and uh, it'll also be fairly bright and all those poor sensitive little critters will just go diving for the bottom to get away from this uncomfortable lamp. All right, so that's going to be pretty easy to do too. So we, we got the main components right here. Uh, one thing we'll have to watch out for. I mentioned earlier that it would have been nice to have a metal funnel. That's because the whole point of this apparatus is to get hot. And so I'm going to keep an eye on it and make sure nothing horrible happens, like things melting and catching on fire. I uh, wouldn't have to do that quite as much if this were a metal funnel. Metal funnels, though, are about four or five times more expensive. And for this pilot trial, I kept it cheap. Uh, also, if I did have a metal funnel, I'd still have to keep an eye on it. Because remember, I'm putting leaf litter in here. And I'm drying it out and heating it up. Uh, conceivably, that could catch fire, which wouldn't be so cool. So, uh, it's all a little bit hazardous. But well, not too hazardous. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it. Now, the other thing is, uh, how am I going to attach this on here? Uh, I have these convenient little clamps that I picked up at the hardware store some time ago that I use for general purpose things all around the house. And so we're just gonna use those to clamp the lamp into place and make that work that way. Okay, one more step. Look at there, cat litter box. All you cat people, I know you've got these things sitting around your house, these nice plastic containers. Uh, what I did is took this and chopped a little window in it. I'm going to put this thing in there. Uh, you could use a mason jar. A mason jar would probably be classier. I just chopped off a Coke bottle. Uh, and then the funnel is going to go on top and through there and rest on here. And you can get the idea. That lamp is going to come on. Little bugs are going to scurry down. And they're going to fall in here where they're trapped. And I'll be able to pull them out and examine them. Okay, sounds clear? 
Let me take a moment. I'm going to assemble this whole thing. It will not take long. As you can guess, it's really easy. Uh, this whole thing is fairly cheap. And then we'll take a look at it. All right, the first step is I went outside and got a good shovel full of a gunky, rotting leaf litter from my backyard. Lovely, isn't it? So that steamer is down below that, so now this is passing through. And I just piled all these leaves on here. Wow, that's about one scoopful. If I were doing this more seriously instead of just doing a trial run, I probably would have gotten a larger funnel, a larger apparatus, so it could look at more all at once. But this is the size of my clamp light, so that's, let's just go with it and see what happens. So there it is, there's the whole thing. Berlin's funnels are really easy to make. We'll just have to see if anything survived our harsh winter and is living in that, that leaf litter. Because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just turn on the light. It's going to start heating up now. And like I said, I'll come up periodically and make sure things aren't getting too hot in there. And then what's going to happen is everything's going to scurry out of that leaf litter and fall down through the funnel. And with any luck, it will end up down there where I can collect whatever we find. This may take a while. That litter was really damp and cold. So we're going to have to wake everything up first, get it moving, and try not to set anything on fire. So that's it for now. I'm going to, I'm going to go away and leave this to run for several hours, and then I'll come back and see if we get any results. I guess I can report partial failure and partial success of my Burleys funnel. So where I left this off is I had set it up and gone away and I said I'd come back in a couple days. I did come back in a couple days and saw nothing. And then I let it run longer and it sat there for about a week and it was a disastrous week because it was a week we also had a major snowstorm. So it was cold and damp and wet. Nothing ever dried out. And partly that was my fault because I loaded way too much stuff into the funnel. So at the end of that week, what I did is I went through and yeah, I could find layers there that was dried out on the surface, but deeper down in the mass that I'd packed in there, it was still soggy and Either I have to increase the wattage of my light bulb and really cook it, or what I did was, well, I scooped out most of that stuff and just had a thinner film of leaf litter in the bottom of the funnel. And then I set that out overnight, and that worked just fine. So here I am today. This is what we find in the bottom. So for instance here, you can probably see a nice little beetle right there in the center of the screen now. So that was in there. Didn't see any spiders. Let's see, but there was some other things in here. You can see lots of dirt and leaf litter in there. And a lot of water because it cooked off. No, oh, yeah. Here's this adorable guy. This is not what you want to find in your, your leaf, leaf litter. This is a mite or a tick. So it's an arachnid at least, but it's not a spider. Um, and that's just ambling around in there, looking unwholesome. Yeah, just think about that next time you dive into a pile of leaves. It's full of ticks. Anyway, he's scurrying around in there. Uh, there was also some macrofauna. That's a slug, a great big slug. I haven't seen very many slugs in Minnesota, and when I have, they're all kind of small, but there's, there's one right there. Also cute, there's something crawling on the surface of that slug. I don't know what it is. 
Maybe it's just muscular rippling. I don't know. It kind of looks like he had something else on him. Okay. So nothing exciting to report. The principle is sound. I just have to avoid overloading everything. It would also help if I avoid doing this during snowstorms which I don't think are conducive to the wildlife around here. And I'm also thinking, I, oh, there's something. There's a little something. Anyway, there's all kinds of little mysteries in here. Uh, one of the things I have to think of to improve it is I'm thinking I need to have something removable that I can use for a collection jar. In particular, something with like a, a petri dish at the bottom and a tube above that so that I can just remove the tube and throw the petri dish onto the scope. Because there's a lot of crap in here. This was initially clean and then all this stuff fell through. So there's all kinds of interesting life thriving in your yard even during the winter and some of it may be a little bit unsavory but there it is okay so where, where'd he go? I was looking at him yeah one arachnid wrong kind but uh, yeah, there's all this stuff living in the leaf litter that we can expose. So that'll be a, that'll be a potential project for students over the summer. We'll see. Okay, now to think about redesigning the collection. Talk to y'all later.